again. And I had to rework the top of the firewall on it. They had experimental things there. They'd removed yeah. them and put ugly plates on them with the big old round head rivets. Yeah. And it was a mess. I have the pieces that I took out of it. Mm. I reskinned part of the belly under the baggage compartment mm. because they had holes in there. There was one hole that big and round that they had a plate screwed over it. Mm. Yeah. So the number one, serial number one Comanche is here and also the first 400 is over in, the first 400 is in the museum. Yes, yes. Yeah. And that's so, this is beginning to be, um, um, these old aeroplanes are coming home here to roost. Well, this one's going to fly. Uh, my wife wants to fly it. Good on it. She wants to take it to Florida, mm. maybe next winter. Yeah. I said, well, if it's done, we'll do that. Uh, I have another Comanche. Parked right behind this in the hangar back there. Yeah. It's a 180. Both of these are 180s. Mm -hmm. I particularly hunted that airplane when I bought it because fuel was going up and they're the most fuel efficient. Mm -hmm. uh, and I thought if I want speed, I'll put speed mods on it, which I've done. It has all the available speed mods on it. Single fork gear, gear logos behind the gear, yeah. lap gap seals, hair on gap seals, and that's the right gap. Parts of the top rock, dual exhaust. Uh, it's got the Eagle Talon on it, if you know what that is. Yes, I know that one. And there's a picture of it. And if you'd like, you're welcome to take the over my head. That's his commandment. I love to look at it. 